I'm gonna leave. You can have him. Whatever this is. Zach gave you all your money back. Was that all he owed me, Andy? It was just money? Do you think that is Zach's baby? Andy, I can't explain it. I can't, but... I feel it, I know. All right, Sister Span, you just saw a bit of the beginning of the first portion of last week's episode where Karen, after getting the, I want to just say a dozen eggs just dumped on her face as she decided to wipe off, feeling embarrassed after finding out that apparently Zach was cheating on her while they were together with Heather and she was pregnant. Did a full video about how the hell that timeline makes no sense whatsoever. But in any case, she claims to be done. She claims that, hey, Fatima, whatever you got going on, have fun with it. Just know that, you know, get used to this kind of thing. Which is interesting because I think I mentioned this in the other video. This actually mirrored quite well what Zach told Aaron when Karen literally chewed him out right in front of him. Like, you know, hey, you see how she talks to me? This is how she gonna do you. You can have him, whatever this is. Cause I promise you, you're gonna be dealing with this shit. <laughs> you're not coming? Don't tell me to shut up, all right? I'm not some damn dog. Fine, fine. And don't call me? until you know how to speak to a man. And then furthermore, we go into the episode where she goes over to Andy's just, you know, crying her eyes out about, well, yet again, just re listing off all the things I did. I, how many times did I pay bail? Did I put money on his books? Did I support his stupid dreams? That I helped out his family, which is new information we didn't know about. And then, you know, it's the fact that she yet again goes over, he did this, I did this for him, and then he cheated on me. And then the next morning, when they were at the breakfast table, um, or the kitchen table, you had Andy and Karen talking, and you know, Karen's like, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, this is his baby. And then the whole thing about Andy actually vouching for him, saying that, well, Karen, he did pay you that money back, and he was, is that honestly all I'm owed? Andy well he was straightforward and honest and then you know she got cut off there so I'm going to play the audio from those various scenes you know first at the house then at well it, Zach's house Andy's penthouse then the next morning and um, then I'll come back so we'll talk from there I did everything for him how many times did I bail him out put money on his books to help his family how many times did i stand by his stupid ass ideas as how many times did i forgive him i know he won't even return my calls and he goes and builds a house for some random bitch okay so here's the thing when you look at how andy and karen both act they're very similar in a lot of ways now, given that she said, oh, I'm done with Zach, you can have him, this and that, but then she goes on to yet again list off, I did this for him, I did that, and I feel like I'm owed, I feel like this is his baby. So, I don't know. I guess for the time being, it seems that Zach might actually be semi-safe from Karen, but I wouldn't be surprised if by next season or season five we're going to see karen yet again try to chase after him now we do know from character descriptions in season five karen and aaron seem to be pursuing something together but it's just like uh oh here's a good way to compare it andy and karen are kind of like pharaoh ramses from the bible is like you know what i'm not going to let my people go or, or let your people go moses or in sister's case I'm not going to let Gary go, says Andy. I'm not going to let Zach go, says Karen. And you have um, them flip-flopping back and forth. Like, you know, Pharaoh was like, fine. Take your God, take your people, leave Egypt, go. 
But then guess what? He changed his mind. Chased after him. Then what happened? Everybody got swallowed up in the ocean or the Red Sea. I think the same thing can be said about Zach and Karen, or in this case, Karen. It's the fact that she really needs to leave Zach alone. Let go of all this stress and unnecessary drama because, ironically enough, it seems like she might have a red sea of blood in the next episode when she's bleeding out right at her uh, beautician's chair. So, I, I look, that analogy was not planned, but damn it, the way I just thought about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. Karen just feels so entitled and like, you know, oh, my loyalty to you should be paid back in full. But the thing is, when you expect other people to have the same level of devotion and loyalty as you, you're only setting yourself up for heartbreak because Zach isn't Karen, Andy isn't Karen, Sabrina isn't Karen, Pam isn't Karen. You can't expect, you can't always expect to receive yourself, aka the effort, the devotion, the loyalty that you give to others to come back to you from that person, you know? It's kind of like if you help a homeless guy on the street and you give him $50, should you really expect them to give you $50 back, you know, I don't know, three years from now? Like, let's say if they come up and hit the lottery, you're probably never going to see that person again, you know? It's just one of those things where you extend kindness and sometimes that person might, take try to take advantage of said kindness or be rude or you know just forget about it i mean but it's like they say sometimes the little things you do for others can mean big things to them and if you're giving out of your heart then you should not really you know keep tabs on what you've done for this person and that's one of the things that always kind of rubbed me the wrong way about karen she would constantly talk about i did this for you zach you owe me this i spent that and the fact that she willingly accepted that $77,000 he gave her, that kind of told me that it wasn't really about love. It was about control. And even when he's paid back the money, you're still trying to control them by slapping this baby in his lap without even confirming that it is his. And it's just ridiculous. Now you want, you know, to walk up in this house and now you want to just pop up whenever to talk about this baby. Like, what exactly were you going to talk about, Karen? I mean, the only thing you should have been talking about is the fact that he may not be the father, but you just said, I'm carrying your child. It's just ridiculous to me and pathetic. And even Zach called her out for, this isn't you. This really isn't you. It's just sad. And when you look at how Karen said she's done, I just don't feel like she is. I feel like if nothing else, maybe Zach, I mean, maybe Karen is going to kind of wait things out on the sidelines. I mean, let's say, hypothetically, what if it turns out Heather Lee Jennings is not the mother of Zach's child, but it's somebody else's child? Would that be the thing that has Karen going, you know what? Yeah, he might have been cheating while we were together, but at least that baby isn't his. So now I'm going to come back in and try to get back what's mine. I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's hard to determine where Karen's intentions are. And this is something I'm not even going to blame on the hormones if she flip-flops from, you know what, Fatima, he's all yours, to I want my man back. Because look at what Andy does all the time with Gary. Oh, I'm done with him. I'm not answering his phone calls. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm thinking about him, and maybe we can have dinner. I mean, I want to see if he's changed. It's the same shit every time. I would not be surprised if Karen is not done with Zach. She will probably change her mind yet again. If I'm wrong, hell, I'm happy. I would love to be wrong about this. I would love for Karen to be done with Zach, unless it had something to do with the baby after it being confirmed that it is his child. But... Yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think that uh, Karen is really done with Zach? Or do you feel like the fact that she semi feels like she's still owed something? Um, do you think she's still going to try to be involved with him? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.